to record this really for my own uh, reference. This is the uh, welding machine um, I've made. Uh, that's the motor controller there on the left, which has got various things, steps per position, number of positions, move to start, move to end, and so on. And the thing which controls the weld machine, which uh, controls weld current and also switches on and off when the uh, an encoder decides it should. There, there's also a counter just to keep track of the number of positions you've welded, a jog handset uh, motor, so it's a stepper motor um, for moving or indexing to the position, and um, an optical encoder, a shaft encoder. Um, I'll switch on and see what happens. I'll switch on the um, motor controller first. Once it's triggered uh, on the counter, it's probably got some capacitance in there. Then I'll switch on the um, controller. There's a adjustment there to set how many degrees. I think a 380 is roughly a standard setting on there. Um, and there's, that switches on the weld head. Um, I'm not actually going to weld anything. That's, that enables the motor. The motor, and this is really what I'm going to do, is try and remember, I'm trying to record the direction of motor in relation to the move to start, move to end, move to position and rotation of the jog control. So if I turn the jog control um, clockwise, the motor turns anti-clockwise looking down at the shaft, which kind of makes sense because if you're looking at the back of the motor it's turning the same way, so that's easy to remember. So there it goes. That, go, that tracks that control pretty precisely. Um, if I I'll restart the count and I'll pray at the move to position. Move to position here will send that going anti clockwise when looking at the shaft. And if I press move to start, that's turning clockwise. Obviously, that's moving back to the beginning of the uh, of the, where the weld starts and move to end, which is this button here, will send it anti-clockwise looking down at the shaft. And each time I press that, the, that will go. Um, and that's set to 20 positions there. And as you see, oh, the other thing is the shaft the encoder, as that turns, I'll try to Oops, that's me just jogging it there. It's only set very loosely. If I turn that clockwise, then that will go. That will increment. If I turn it clockwise, looking down at the encoder, I've only got that very roughly put together there, so I have to be very gentle with it. And when it gets to 380, we'll stop the weld process. Very other, various other things going on there. A weld delay, which is when it's um, using the auto weld function from the handset and various ramp settings and current adjustments. Well, that sums it up. Brilliant.